Before we get into today's video, obviously, if you are looking to buy or sell Muck Coins, as always, use MrMuckCoin.com. They are the safest, cheapest, and most reliable website out there for all your coin buying and selling needs. Be sure to use code RYAN30 at checkout to get 30% extra coins added onto your order. Deliveries will be under 5 minutes every single day. Use code RYAN30 at checkout for 30% extra coins. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another Madden 18 Ultimate Team video. Now, I pretty much knew about this, but I'm not sure if a lot of other people knew about this. The draft cards that we got, and I'm calling this video like 100 overall players, because in my opinion, like, if a 99 overall card gets a power-up, wouldn't that technically mean, like, it? it usually power-ups will go one up overall. So these guys right here, in EA's terms, like in EA's logic, if they could, they would be 100 overall players. Now, I'm not saying they are 100 overall in terms of what their attributes are. They're very, very good. Like, don't get me wrong. These cards are amazing. Uh, they have really good attributes. But if you look at it in terms of, like, what we've had in the past, like, of course, there have been better 99 overall cards. But, you know, we just haven't seen a power-up of a 99 overall player already. So it's kind of insane to sit here and look at. So here is the Andrew Luck. Now, I do have everything tiered out all the way. Obviously, Toughness Tier 5 and Move the Sticks Tier 5. Uh, he comes in with Gunslinger. And take a look at this, guys. He has 90 speed. So you're looking at a right-handed quarterback, Andrew Luck, with 90 speed. You don't have to use Michael Vick. He also comes in at 91 Excel, 89 Agility, 97 Throw Power, 99 Throw Short, 97 Medium, and 92 deep. So he's got the arm strength. He's got the throw deep. He's got the short, the mid, throw on the run 99, play action 94. And he will also have 90 juke move and 78 carrying. So he is like the ultimate uh, quarterback. The first real 99 overall quarterback that I can honestly say without a shadow of a doubt is a 99 overall or the aforementioned 100 overall. This is the ultimate quarterback right now. And we will talk about uh, what I'm, the point I'm going to make in this video is uh, something about golden tickets or ultimate tickets as we know now. When are they coming? If we have a guy like this, this has to be the last like insane quarterback of the year that isn't a golden ticket, right? Well, I guess we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Here is Joey Bosa. Now, Joey Bosa adds on the physical front chemistry, which he did not have to already his blanket coverage. And we do have him maxed all the way out. Obviously, with Unfakeable, he comes in at 88 speed with 94 Excel, 92 Agility, 90 Strength, 86 Jumping, 96 Awareness, 96 Play Rec, 99 Block Shed, 99 Pursuit, 99 Tackle, 99 Hip, hip Power, 99 Finesse Move, and 97 Power Move. If you combine him with you know other motivators um he will definitely become even better than he already is uh i have no words for that card like i have joey bosa's power up and if i wanted to i could take it a step further and get him up to a 99 or you know maybe even if we're saying that he's 100 overall this guy right here definitely worthy of the 100 overall rating um but yeah definitely crazy crazy player he started off at such a lower overall uh, than what I kind of expected him to end at, which I wasn't expecting him to end at a 99, uh, but I'm very excited to see that he has become one of the best defenders in the game. Obviously, I'm a big Ohio State fan, big Joey Bosa fan, and I definitely would love to see him uh, this good, which he is, and you know, if you guys have the ability and have the luxury to play with this guy, uh, you're probably going to be a very, very happy camper. This Joey Bosa is insane. Uh, moving on, if you think Joey Bosa is good, take a look at Khalil Mack. So in addition to the physical front, he also gets read and react, which will help his zone coverage. He has the under pressure ability, uh, which basically it says a player puts quarterback under pressure from further distances and increases the chance of an impacting, uh, or ch increases the chance of impacting throw accuracy when putting quarterbacks under pressure. So pretty much he can uh, make the quarterback sense pressure from way further and he'll make them throw bad passes. Now take a look at Khalil Mack, guys. Um, yeah, 93 speed, 95 excel, uh, 94 agility, 91 strength, 98 jumping, and he is a linebacker in this card here. So 96 awareness, 96 play rec, 99 block shed, 99 pursuit, 99 tackle, 
99 hit power, 99 power move, and 99 finesse move. Wow. Uh, taking a look at his man, he comes in at 80 man, which is pretty good, and the 90 zone. So if you want to get him to 91 zone, obviously you will need the honey badger there at free safety. And then you could take him out of the game uh, with sub packages so you don't have to use him. Um, but if you have Raiders training or if you have like John Madden, for example, then you can get him up to 91 zone without needing the honey badger. Uh, but he does come in also with 83 catching, 79 catch in traffic, and 79 spectacular catch. Uh, some of the comments say he's better than Miller, but 2x block shed is 2 OP. Um, you know, I tend to agree with that. I mean, having Von Miller, uh, you will get the ability to have uh, block shed times two to your entire team, which helps out so much. So you're sacrificing your Von Miller for the Khalil Mack. And, uh, you know, I mean, what more can you really ask for? I mean, if we go ahead and compare, let's just go ahead and compare him to the Von Miller and just see, like, what he's better at and what Von is better at. Um, we'll tear him all the way out. So, you know, no one has an unfair advantage um, on each other. So here is Vaughn versus Khalil Mack. Uh, so Vaughn is going to have uh, three better speed than... Uh, yeah, Khalil Mack's going to have three better speed than Vaughn. He has one less strength, uh, one more agility. He has two more acceleration, one less awareness. He has uh, ten more catching. He has twelve more jumping. The same exact stamina and two more injury. Uh, Trucking-wise, I mean, these are offensive things that really don't matter. But if you get your hands on the ball, he has seven better trucking, five better elusiveness, seven better ball carrier vision, eight better stiff arm. He has eight better spin move, the same exact juke. He has seven, uh, I'm sorry, four less carrying than Von Miller. Um, his route running doesn't matter. Catch and traffic really doesn't matter. But he has plus 14 catch and traffic, uh, plus seven spec catch. Uh, he does have six less in release uh, and then throw power. Who really cares about all that? Let's get to the defense now. Same exact tackle, same exact hit power, uh, better power move by three, same finesse, same block shed. But again, Von Miller does get plus two to block shed to your entire team. Uh, same pursuit, uh, play rec. Von has him beat by one man coverage. Von has him beat by seven. And then in zone coverage, it looks like uh, Khalil Mack is going to win by one. And then in press, Vaughn wins by 12. So uh, it's looking like, you know, it's just a matter of preference. Like they both have the clutch ability. They both have high motor. Um, Khalil Mack uh, utilizes spin moves. Uh, well, swim moves, I'm sorry. And um, it looks like Von Miller doesn't. Spin moves, Khalil Mack and Von Miller both utilize it. Uh, DL uh, bull rush move, they both do it. Um, Khalil Mack is a big hitter, Vaughn is not, and then they both strip the ball and they both play the ball in air at a balanced rate. So, you know, it's just a matter of preference. Do you want the block shed to your entire team or do you want like a super insane player in Khalil Mack? Uh, he is a power up tier five compared to Von Miller tier six. So, uh, you know, just imagine Khalil Mack getting one more power up. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's a little bit better with his hands. He's a little bit better at run stuffing. Uh, a little bit better in his range, a little bit better in his pass rush, and it looks like Vaughn is a little bit better in his coverage. So it's just a matter of preference. Like, they're all really, really good cards. Every single last one of these guys is absolutely crazy, and uh, I don't know if you guys knew about these guys or not. I didn't know if you knew that they had power-ups, but they're pretty much like double-up 99 overall players. Like, you already have a 99, you power it up, and you get an additional plus one to almost everything which makes them in my personal opinion if you go from a 99 get a power up you should be a 100 overall player and uh you know these aren't even golden tickets like these aren't even ultimate ticket players and we're seeing guys that are you know worthy of staying on your team for the entirety of the game so are we going to get ultimate ticket players are we not going to get ultimate ticket players i don't know i really don't know we're already entering in to may and we do not know if we're going to have them or not so that's kind of scary like i'm not sure what ea is trying to do uh we're gonna go ahead and take a look real quick at this orlando pace and ray lewis just to show you guys if you guys not have seen these yet uh and then we also have frank y check i guess we'll just do like i don't know do like that one and see so here's ray lewis uh i picked uh, read and react and physical front just to see what he would look like um but he's gonna come in here with secure tackler which is great 92 speed 
99 block shed, 99 pursuit, 99 tackle, 99 hit power, 92 zone, 99 power move, 84 finesse. I mean, that's the ultimate linebacker in my opinion. Very, very good player there. Um, here is the uh, Orlando Pace. Comes in at 95 run block, 99 pass block, 95 impact blocking. He has secure pass protector. And uh, yeah, I mean, great card right there. And then Frank Wycheck. Uh, I don't have the best card selected here, like the best chem. Uh, but the gist of it is he has 86 speed, which could go up to an 87. Uh, 96 catching, 98 catching traffic. Uh, 94 run block is crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, if this guy could be used at a fullback position, that would be even better. He also has identified, which is unique to like a tight end. So, I mean, these guys are all so good, but... I'm kind of tired of seeing Ultimate Legends. I'm kind of tired of seeing like all these other uh, programs and stuff. Let's just get golden tickets rolling. Let's get golden tickets and packs. Let's be able to create our own monster players. And, you know, let's get the ball rolling, EA. Like, we're already entering into May. The last time that we were into May when we got golden tickets and packs was in Madden 25. So, in my personal opinion... If they are going to come out, if ultimate tickets are going to be put in packs or golden tickets, whatever they decide to call them this year, it will be either today. Yes, they might drop a crazy uh, last second after the draft thing and have golden tickets in packs today, or they'll do it next week and we will be able to finally work our way up to the absolute best cards in the game. So if you guys are excited about that, let me know. If you have any opinion or thoughts on when you think they're going to come, let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully you are enjoying your weekend. Hopefully your team's drafted everybody you wanted. Uh, I know my, my team did. I was very excited about who we got. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.